Darren, of course, uh, not the result you're hoping for tonight, but uh, I mean, this was just such a, a monumental event in, in your career and a, a massive build up to this. Can you tell us kind of what the emotion is like for you right now at this point? Uh, I don't really know. I don't know. It's just hard to take a loss. You know, I have lost in the past before the uh, mixed martial arts, and you know, it wasn't nice then. But it's it's even more. You know, it's 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 it hurts more now because of where it where it is. Where, but it just hurts because you know I got there. I was nearly there. You know, to do what I said. Uh, you know, I set out to do, get that belt, and be the greatest. And I am still going to be the greatest. I know that. You know, I just spoke to Woodley backstage and he's lost. John Jones has lost, George St. Pierre's lost. The, the, all the greats have lost. And you know, that's my first loss tonight. And you know, it just, right now, there's, I'm still okay, but I'm just upset. It's just, there's, there's, no, there's no sugar coat in it. I'm not gonna sit here and, or anything. I'm just, I'm just upset. I'm sure you and your team will go back and dissect everything, but but when you think about it right now, I mean, can you put your finger on, on what went wrong? Was it just as simple as being caught by that right hand, or, or, or was it more than that? Uh, no, it was, I got caught, but I just I was too relaxed. I was too confident, and I am you. I'm always confident. Everyone knows that, but I was too like the job had already been done in my head because camp went so well, wake up went so well. Everything went so well. I just thought I turned up. I'm just. I just need to win. And I knew what he was gonna do. I knew he was gonna come out guns blazing in the face because I knew he had that fear. So you know, I knew what he was gonna do. And he didn't hit me with no punch. He got the flash knockdown. But you know, even when I, he was in my guard and he was throwing he heavy elbows and punches, I was just laughing. And you know, that's why he subbed me. There was no way he was gonna finish me. I'm, I'm a tough person to put out, but. Uh, I didn't, you know, I just backstage, I just, I was just too calm, I was walking mad, I wasn't really warming up, I was just ready to go in there and fight and, you know, maybe if I look back I should have warmed up, I should have been a bit more aggressive backstage. I'm, I'm a weird person, it's weird because sometimes backstage I'll warm up hard and I'll be aggressive and then sometimes I'll just be like, oh, I'll just have relaxed. I, I'm not like, I don't have the same type of ritual for every fight and this, this time it, it cost me, it cost me a... In my eyes, it cost me everything, you know, because this is, as you say, everything. It's, it's even more important than you. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a joke. I shouldn't say that. <laughs> well, Darren, I'm sure you still have, uh, you know, plenty of great days ahead. But I, I wonder, does this close the door on the welterweight division for you, or or does this loss maybe kind of reignite a fire to to, to keep chasing it? I don't know. It's, 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 that's the that's the. A good question to ask right now. Uh, I don't really know how to give you a straight answer right now. Uh, you know, <clears throat> the weight cut was easy. The weight cut was really easy. I, I mean, I, I, as soon as the fight got announced, I was eating clean, but I was still eating normally. Like, you know, I wasn't depriving myself. And then as soon as I got to Vegas, three weeks out, that's when I was eating incredibly clean, but I was still eating a lot. That day, is, you, you guys came to the institute with the day where I'd cut back on a lot of stuff, but I was still okay, but I was just, you know, pissed off with dieting. But in my mind, I can still do three weeks and make weight like that again. So it's it's a tough one. It's all, as you say, it's down to, you know, Colin, no matter what I say, I'll still always listen to him 100%. Uh, I don't know, I just... It just pisses me off that someone was better than me tonight, it really does. Like, I had to walk past them and I've got the utmost respect for anyone who fights, but I just, uh, I can't live with myself knowing that tonight he was better than me. He's not a better fighter than me, but tonight he was better and it does really, it kills me inside, it does, I'm not going to lie, it kills me inside. It hasn't affected me in any way. I'm still a mentally tough, most toughest motherfucker out there, but fucking tonight it hurts. <laughs> Uh, Darren, uh, I guess you've now lost that kind of tag of undefeated. Other people say sometimes it's a bit liberating and that they, they think about it, but is this something you've kind of been thinking about and being afraid to lose ever before? No, I'm, I'm not afraid to lose. I've said it in interviews. I mean, a loss, a loss has to come to everyone. I, I believe no matter what you do, that there is certain people who, who do get away with that. You know, Floyd Mayweather, some other guys, they get away with out, you know, that loss. 
I've lost very few times in my life. I really have. You, you just didn't know me before I was you know, I lost three times. I actually lost for a world title in Canada, and that was bitter. It was that was just horrible for me. And, uh, it's just it's one of them things. I'll, I'll face it head on. You, you know, it's all ups. It's all ups. Since, since I made me come back last year, you know. You, I remember I only came back last year after an 18 month, lay 18 month layoff. I fought in Sweden, Rotterdam, Poland, then I fought in you know Liverpool and now 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 Texas. It's it's been a ride for me. The, the losses came tonight. Listen, there'll probably be another loss, but as I say, I'm, st I'm still going to be the greatest fighter of all time. I know I am. This doesn't change anything. It's just as I say, I can't lie to you right now. I, I'm, 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 I'm upset, I'm, I'm broken, I'm hurt tonight, I'm, I'm, I'm a hurt person. You just said there, obviously you had a lot of fights in the last year. Um, what does the next kind of, uh, I guess, three, six months look like for you? Do you want to take some time out? I don't know, I don't, I don't really know what that, that means. I, I, I could say, yeah, I could say no. I, obviously I've, I've got a kid on the way, I've got, you know, in November, me, me and my girlfriend are going to have a baby. And, you know, obviously that, that, that deserves a lot of attention. Uh, as much as I say it doesn't, and I don't care, I do really care. <laughs> uh, I want to take a trip to, to Brazil for maybe just one week just to see me, me daughter, you know. I need that in my life. So, you know, if I can fit all that in quick now and just keep on training, you know, hopefully fight fight again soon. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know, I don't, I don't know. Just let the other guys in line now fight for the belt and... You know, let them have their shot. It just pisses me off so much that, well, you know, Woodley beat me. It just pisses me off so much. And just lastly for me, I guess um, losing hurts, obviously. You, you've lost tonight, but is there any kind of positives you can draw from, like, the last three weeks of that experience being out in Vegas and, I guess, fighting here tonight in the main event? Yeah, as, as I say, mate, every single day should be positive, and every day was positive, just... <laughs> Everything leading up to about an hour ago, you know, t today is a great day, I woke up, I felt great, and then one hour ago, up until now, it's just fucking been shit, it's just been shit, uh, I don't know what to say, I'm laughing because I don't want to cry, <laughs> it's, it, it is what it is, mate, uh, it's, uh, it's fucking, it's hard, it's hard, it is hard to do, it's hard to take, some, some guys deal with it differently, and I just deal with face on, I'll just tell you what I'm fucking thinking, I don't care. You just know I don't care. He's used to me by now and tomorrow I'll be I'll be back to, to myself and I'll still say fuck you to the world and, and, and keep on training hard and just believing in myself. I do I do believe in myself. You know, tired it's like a truck. Couldn't knock me out though. Hit me, got me the flash knocked out, but couldn't knock me out. Not knocking me out and then you know, that ground and palm was vicious, you know, he was on my face, so, you know, I'm stitched up, but there's no way he was knocking me out. It was submission or it was, it was nothing, and, and, you know, tonight he won. Hi, Dan. Was there anything about Tyron that surprised you? It seemed that he was um, maybe a little bit faster than you had the timing. Yeah, he, I, but I knew that, this is the thing, I just knew that in the first, first and the second, I knew he was going to be on edge, I knew he was going to be, <clears throat> I knew, I knew Tyler, you know, I don't know if he'd admit it or what, I knew he was scared of me, I knew he was scared, he, knew, he knows I've got power, he knows I'm a, you know, a big guy, so I knew he was trying different things, you know, he couldn't take me down, he was squeezing me up against the fence with so much strength, and he wasn't stronger than me, there's no way he was stronger than me, I, I could feel that, he was trying to trip me, and I was just, I was just in like, I don't know, I was just in motion just in the first and uh, and then, you know, the start of the second. I was like letting him do his thing because I knew that I was going to start doing my thing. Uh, as I say, you know, I just should have warmed up backstage better. There's no excuse, obviously. But I should just had a bit more aggression. Maybe I should have been more aggressive in the first. I'm always a calm, kind of relaxed fighter in the first. I like to see what the other guy's going to do. And, you know, he was throwing power shots and I was just putting my guard up and shaking my head. I was like, you're not hurting me. And he knew he wasn't. I threw one left and he shook his head, but it was just like, a, you know, it wasn't, I put nothing behind it. You know, I just wish I could have got to the third and I could have started opening up on him and seeing what was happening, but I just got sloppy with that. I dropped my guard on that uppercut. I remember it perfectly, I dropped my guard and he come over with the right. He does it a lot and he got me with it. Um, and then, 
there was a, a clip going around of you talking to his mum backstage. Um, what did she have to say to you? It's just one of them things. I, I, I mean, I didn't know the Chris, that clip already got on me. And the internet's fast, isn't it? I mean, I won't be on the internet for a few days. I just have to stay off that. I can't. I can't look at myself getting beat, but you know, I will. It, it's, no matter when you fight someone, it doesn't matter if you hate them or you you like them, whatever. I don't hate Tara. It's never personal with me. If, if it's you know, I just wanted to. I wanted to kill Tara as much as she wants to kill me for this fight. But you know, you, you see, you see a guy's mother, you see a guy's daughter. You see, you're not gonna stand there and disrespect them. You're not gonna oh, because I hate hate your son or whatever. I hate you. It doesn't work like that. Is that's his family. I've got my family. You know, some guys sometimes they do cross the line of uh, insulting family members. You know, girlfriends, whether it be girlfriends or whatever online or to the face and. To me, it would never affect me if someone did it. They just need to know that if they ever come face to face, it doesn't matter where it is. They need to be ready to fight with me because I'll fight with them. You know, I'm not about this pushing and shoving game. You know, weigh-ins. If someone goes, it goes. It does. It's not a push. It's a fucking punch coming to the face. And and she just gave me, she just gave me words of advice. It was comforting. She gave me a, a nice big hug and, you know, I said to her, "Be proud of your son. Your son beat me tonight." You know, go and enjoy it. You deserve, you deserve everything. You know, no matter what you say, people can give time a hard time or what. He's, he's just, he's, he's beat everyone. He's beat, he's just beat me. Boring or not, in his last few fights, he just beat me, and that wasn't boring. And him and his family and his mother, they, they deserve it. So it was just, it was nice to get a hug from it. It really was.